Happy Vlogmas day five. I think it's actually supposed to start getting colder. It's been, oh, she's rubbing against my arm. It's been in the 50s the last couple of days. What's the high today? Oh, today's still gonna be 45. Whoa, but then the next five days for the highs, 37, 36, 35, 37, 38 getting cold so i decided i didn't like the santa head that was there i put this there but it needs some help but i like the wreath better than the little santa head I finally put my totes with all the Christmas stuff back in the shed. I have a bunch of stuff for making some holiday cookies a little closer to Christmas. But I have a little sprinkle pack. I This is going to be like off-white, so I might go and find like white-white. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. I got these two like shimmery kind of icings. And then... I feel like this could be used for a multitude of things this month. What's this? Oh. These are the, remember, these are my labels that I just got more of the other day. This was the last of them. I'm contemplating running to Honeydew Donuts. Honeydew Donuts is a local coffee chain and they actually sent me a gift card towards the end of the summer that I haven't used yet. And they have, they call it Mocha Madness, like their, you know, Mocha coffee. And they have Peppermint Mocha Madness right now. And that sounds really good, but I need to eat first before I have caffeine. The rainbows. Okay, I think I'm gonna make scrambled eggs and use this. We never have milk in the house, so I just throw some half and half in there. Um, and then some, mm, I'll probably just do salt and pepper. I don't really want to mess with the flavor of the Laogon Mal too much. Um, all right, let's. Also, I didn't mention this in the last video when I got this, but someone actually commented about it, which reminded me. They said, oh, I've heard people put this on ice cream. My dad tried it on vanilla ice cream and said it was good. I haven't tried it myself yet, but interesting flavors. I really want to open an Alani, but I'm like kind of holding out for a coffee, but I don't know if I actually feel like going to get a coffee. I don't know the best way, like... Do I mix this into the eggs? Do I add it as an oil replacement? Do I put it on afterwards? Okay, I think I'm gonna add a little bit of oil, then I'm gonna add a scoop of the Laogan Ma, and then I'm gonna add the eggs, eggs, eggs on top of that. Nice scoop of this. Let that settle for a sec, and then I'm gonna pour the eggs directly on that. Oh, I ended up making that crock pot dish that I was talking about yesterday, so I unfortunately didn't make it on a vlog, but if I can remember, I'll try to link the like Pinterest crockpot recipe below because it's, oh my god, it's such an easy recipe to do. Like, very minimal prep. You just like throw everything in there. Um, it's a Mexican chicken recipe. You do a can of Rotel, two chicken breasts, a can of black beans, a can of corn, another can of Rotel, and then um, taco seasoning. Actually, you put half the taco seasoning directly on top of the chicken, then half the taco seasoning on um, at the ends. Oh gosh, all the seasonings are in like one spot. I have to get them distributed. I feel like with how I cook my eggs, there's a very fine line of like, I want them to be fully cooked, but I hate burnt, like the smell of burnt eggs, I will lose my appetite to be honest. Oh, it looks so funny. It's just like red-ish. That's probably good, honestly. Turn that off. Mm. 
I really want to put cheese on this, but I just don't know. I guess cheddar cheese would be fine. on ramen. My eggs kind of taste like ramen to me. <laughs> Let's put it on the side. It's got a lot. It's not bad. I don't know if I'll do it again. I definitely prefer like the pesto eggs. I swear it's just like my mind is just associating this with ramen. I feel like I periodically have to show off my little drying rack sort of thing because it literally just like rolls up and then I can put it right behind here. And I got it from Amazon and it's just, it's amazing. We finally got all of the boxes out of here. I had a bunch of, at the end of the year, there were, I think it was actually Target. They had white t-shirts on sale for super cheap. So I bought a bunch and they were like in bags over here. I tend to do my tie-dyeing in the summer because it just gets very, very messy. And then also just letting the shirts dry. It's so much easier to do that out on the lawn. I guess I could experiment with putting stuff into the wash and dryer, but I'm just afraid of stuff getting muddy. But I love bleach dyeing in the winter, as you guys saw on day one. But there's no more bags over here. We just have like my steam mop, my shark vacuum, a broom, and I think my Swiffer is right there. Oh, we still need to do our advent calendar. Also, I started my book last night. It's it's all right so far. I'm only like 40 pages in, so the story hasn't really progressed too far. And then I had forgotten, Brenton will sometimes open up one of my Alani's and have like a third of it. So this was in the fridge. I decided to finish it. I still might go get a coffee though. Excuse me, miss. <laughs> So they're down a man? So they're down a man and they're up one with five minutes left. They would be the first uh, ever African nation to make it this far. I got it to go like across instead of just in one hand. Oh yeah, if he was holding it like that in the picture. Mm -hmm. I know, I just couldn't tell what that was. Well, why was he holding it that way? Because that's, I, I have it kind of like wedged in there. That's the way he should be holding it. I don't know if it's supposed to be like this. Brennan's playing games with his buddies in the background, but I just did some makeup. I think I'm gonna roast some veggies. I've got three sweet potatoes, a pepper, and an onion. I might have broccoli. I have a little bit of broccoli. How is it though? How does it look? Looks fine. Wait a second, my friend just texted me about potentially going to a museum at RISD. Uh, RISD is Rhode Island School of Design. It's, I'm pretty sure, one of the best art schools in the entire country. So maybe we'll put this on pause for a second. Oh, I need to. Oh, that noise it makes drives me insane. There are some days where it like hits me in my core and I feel like I'm actually going insane because I can just hear the high pitch noise just ringing. It feels like my ears are ringing. All right, the veggies are going back in the fridge for now. Um, let me go find something to wear. These rainbows are so intense right now. All right, my friend is going to come over. We both have some content that we need to get shot for, just like sponsored stuff, and then of course just for fun stuff as well. Oh God, the cats are wrestling. What was that? I pulled out just like a couple different outfits so I can potentially change depending on how much content we end up shooting. Oh my God, do you hear them? And I have like, okay, I'm just gonna change into it and tell me this outfit doesn't scream kindergarten teacher from the 90s. Just wait. With like the low bun too. Oh my God. Do I like button it up or do I leave it? I feel like I have to button it up. Do I do like the top one? I want to see more of this, but I almost feel like the 90s vibe is definitely. Oh my God. If I had some like red slacks, this is so funny. <laughs> I look like I'm about to host the cutest holiday party for a bunch of five-year-olds. Oh my God. 
Why does this bring me so much joy? I wanted to show you just all of the like holiday-esque kind of clothing items that I pulled out. I'm doing just this little like impromptu getting content with my friend today. And then on Tuesday, my friends that I went to the igloo with on Monday were also gonna have like a fun little holiday content day. So of course we have the lovely turtleneck. I'm pretty sure, oh, where is it? I have a red one that has gold reindeer on it. And I like that one even more. I need to find that one. I think it's in my guest room closet. I'm gonna go down after. I have the 2017, 2018 teddy bear coat trend. I bought this big red one. And this is so nice to take holiday pictures in. Oh yeah, I'll probably end up getting something in this. It's so cute and cozy. You can't, I'm just wearing like plain American Eagle jeans right now. I also have just like a mock neck, turtleneck-ish uh, sweater. It's pretty oversized. Yeah, this is an extra small and it's definitely oversized. I'm already hot with that. I should have warned you that the dishwasher is on, but I have these little plaid pants. It's like yellow, purple, and red. I feel like that could be made into holiday-ish. I also, I just felt like this skirt could potentially look good with just like a black shirt. I even have like a black turtleneck that it might look nice with. I don't think I'll shoot with this tonight. I think this will more so be a next Tuesday sort of thing. I have another pair of the Walmart stretchy pants. These ones are like velvet-ish. They're like burgundy? Is that burgundy? Like a wine color. This would be really cute like underneath something because it's got like the little turtleneck and it's the nice green. And I have, oh my gosh, so I bought these from High Key by Emma Chamberlain. Again, back in like, probably 2018 for these. But we have this red velvet crop top, and then we have a yellow one as well. I think both of these, I mean the yellow is obviously very bright, but I feel like gold kind of goes with the Christmassy vibe, so it could definitely be done to be holiday. And then the last thing I think is these pants that I got from Target. I think I showed these in a vlog in a little Target haul, but. These are really cute. I feel like I need just like, cause this shirt has some like texture to it. Like it's kind of stripey if you can see that. So I feel like I need like a plain black shirt, which I think I do have downstairs actually. I just did two, okay, I did, I folded my first load of laundry. I threw my second load of laundry into the dryer and then my third load of laundry just went into the washing machine. Just found a couple more things. This, which, is adorable. Oh my, wait. I love this. Hmm, it's so cute. I like it a lot. Um, I also did find the red shirt that I was talking about with the gold reindeer. I found a green turtleneck. This one's like a full-on turtleneck that you have to like fold over. I found these stretchy pants. They're like flared leggings, yoga pants, what have you. All right, I'm like set. And I'm so glad I went through all of this today because I feel like I would have procrastinated and not found everything for Tuesday's shoot. My friend should be here any minute. Also, oh, I can't find my backdrop curtain. Like I have the backdrop frame, but I can't find the actual cloth. I have a pink one and a blue one both nowhere to be found. Also on Sunday's vlog, which is actually, I can't believe, I, I keep forgetting that it's Friday. So Sunday's vlog is actually the next vlog. I'm gonna be doing a virtual painting class with paintlive.net. My friend Alice runs it. She's actually, oh my God, every single time I edit Vlogmas, I'm so mad at myself for not shouting out, hello Alice, for creating my Vlogmas intro and my normal intro with the sunflowers. That was before Vlogmas. So I'll link her down below. I'm gonna link Alice because she is on like Instagram, YouTube. She's live streaming on Twitch. She has made a bunch of my merch. She has done both of my intros on this channel and then the paintlive.net I'm gonna be doing. It's like, we're gonna paint a cute little wintry scene in a snow globe and I'm very excited. I did two classes. I did a mushroom class and I did a pumpkin class. Wait, no, I did mushrooms, I did pumpkin and I did sunflowers. So I've done three. This will be like my fourth class with her. So if anyone wants to join in, I'm not sure if there's any available spots, but uh, you can check out the other like dates for painting classes down below. Set up the backdrop and the cats are catting get out of there get no stop it 
You. Oh. oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Brennan's talking very loudly in the background. <laughs> but Adriana brought me a peppermint mocha. We love to see it. Adriana brought this over for you guys. She said, we need to do something for Vlogmas, right? What if I bring over Pokemon cards? And I thought that was a fabulous idea. Pokemon cards are like appealing to everyone because they're nostalgic for us and then kids are still into them today. Lost, Lost origin. Origins. Ooh. I think there's only maybe one or two more sets that just came out, but that's, yeah, two more. That's the, it's decently new, not too old. But there's some really cool cards in there. We went through a Pokemon phase in like 2016, I want to say. We were yeah. buying all the new ones again. Right. We were buying like, I just burped while talking. <laughs> we, were, <laughs> we were buying like the little tins that they'll have at Target. Yeah, like so the cute. ones with the two packs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See if we just fix this problem, Sasha. She's been listening to tutorials um, for fixing Instagram collaborations. <laughs> Adriana does um, like marketing and social media for a couple different brands, so that's very important stuff to it have is so accessible. Important. Very much so. But yay! So it's a booster box. That's the official like type. Yep. There's 36 packs in a booster box. Oh wow! <laughs> uh, we can shuffle them if you want. Do you usually do that, or you just go for it? Let's just go for it. It depends. Left is law. <laughs> so and then we have, we have a code card. Mm -hmm. Yep. Is it three? Four. Or four. One, two, two three, four. Oh, am I showing them? I and you not. should have. <laughs> you should have um, the energy. Oh, I get uh, the same. Oh, great. Nice. I'm gonna pull up. Lost vacuum. Oh, I can't see that. I I <laughs> can't see that far, to be All honest. Right. No, I want to... So the last card should My be... Chop. The, like, holographic or something. Oh. Should be the hit. Look at you. Yeah, honestly, one is. of my favorite things about focus on Pokemon, oh, especially the cards, is that there's so many different artists, and they'll always oh, honor them. That I... They'll have the illustrator. Litwick. Oh, okay. I can already see a little peek. I think I got a good one. Did you? I got a Radiant Steelix. Oh, wait, do I have, I have three more to go? Oh, wait, nope, I messed up. <laughs> wait, oh, I know because I got two. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. I was, ah. Oh, wrong words to use. Oh, my God. No, you can use those words. Oh, I say fuck on this channel. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> you just, you're not supposed to swear in the first either 30 seconds or two minutes, I forget. For it to be considered ad more advertiser-friendly. Okay. I had an intro already. Okay. You're good. Radiant Steelix, and then nothing for that. But okay, girl, that's... Dude, this is your first... Okay. I know. I thought I, like, counted um, wrong because I got this first, and then I was like, oh, wait, and then it was two. So, I think that's a character rare. So, when you have the character in them... Mm-hmm. Awesome. That's, like, rare. Or just... It's it's considered, like, a better hit than the Radiant Steelix. Do you want to sleep um, this one, too? Yeah. You sleep them. Here's your pile. <laughs> All right. Sasha. Good first pick. Okay. Do you, like, categorize them at all while you're while you're doing stuff like this? Um, honestly, it goes a bit quicker, like, once we get started. But people usually separate the energies from... And then, the, like, the trainer kind of cards. Yeah. Or whatever they are. Yeah. And then just regular, the Pokemon and the rares. Yeah, like if you're if you're selling bulk, that's what you do to be <laughs> kind. You do stacks of 100. So Ooh. much that goes into it. We don't have to do that right now, though. Please don't no. edit, edit that out. That's okay. No, people want to know about the people craft. People want to know? Okay. I have learned a lot. Okay, we're going to do the Radiant Steelix. Yeah, because that one's shiny. Not like shiny, shiny, but holographic. It, it is a shiny. Oh, it's a shiny, too. No yeah. way. <laughs> oh, wait. I'm a shiny. No. <laughs> That's uh, Adriana's username for her like gaming Pokemon co content. They just come to me. All right, perfect. Love it. Cool. There we go. Pretty Litwick. <laughs> you can I think I got that one in my first pack. See, their art is so cool. Oh. 
Ooh, is that one of the pig Pidgeot ones? Yeah. Pidgeot. V. We got a hollow. Ooh. Umbreon. Oh, I know you think it's very special, but it's just a VMAX card. Or V Star. Oh my gosh, sorry. So you can like in the game, um did, wait, did that count as one of them? The cards? It did. Oh, okay. So let me put them back. It's okay. You can just open that one. Hi. I've never seen these before. The V Star? I know. Oh, I'm too. sure so much of this is so out of focus. Because I know. I just can't see. I should oh wear my glasses. That one's pretty. I'll just pop focus it. Gorgeous. I feel like it's Water. difficult because it's <laughs> <laughs> There's a second Porygon? I didn't know that came out. Yes. Wow. Like there's the one with the um softer angles. Oh yeah, it is softer angles. We got split focus, I like it. So they're both. Whoa, that one's mm, sick. I don't know. Uh, no, but it's still it's cute. It's still cute. All right. Very nice. Right on. Sleeve it. Ooh, Pyroar. Ooh, Sableye. That's a cool yes, art. Yes, yay. Sableye, we love Sableye. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Oh. Is that a really good one? Yeah. I mean, it's yours. Oh, I just one. pulled no, it. No, you can have the ones you pull. Oh my god, I'm not going to take your cards. I'm just having fun pulling them. <laughs> you can have some cards, Sasha. If we get any repeats, some. I'll take them. Hoopla? Nope. Hoopla. Nope, it's Hoopa. Hoopa. <laughs> Hoopla SpongeBob. Hoopla. <laughs> This is the madness of the table. We just decided we're gonna stream the second half it of the booster. It did a little bit too. No, it honestly like the piles. I know. I <laughs> the foil looks like kind of cool. Foils. The mayhem. The mayhem. All right. Some of you probably saw this on the stream. Aria stole my seat. Oh no, four percent. Just heated up some of the leftovers of the. Shredded Mexican chicken. I am gonna go back on Twitch in probably like 10 minutes or so and play some of the new Mario Kart tracks. Those just dropped on Wednesday. Eight new Mario Kart tracks. But I'm gonna eat really fast and then we'll go into that. I'm currently playing Mario Kart with a bunch of my viewers on Twitch. This is our last rounds of the night. It is 11.54 p.m. Oh no! Listen, vlog, I'm usually really good at this game. I got first twice in the last three rounds. Items will make or break you. All right, I have to film the next race too because I'm not doing good in this one. And I'm good at this game. I'm a good Mario Kart player. I think that's better than I did last time on this one. Just never mind, I'm turning the vlog off. Oh my gosh, I'm usually so much better at Mario Kart. I don't know if it was just because I was getting tired because it's after midnight now or because I had an audience, the vlog. I had just gotten first and then I just did so bad all those rounds that I filmed. I'm gonna read my book. It's 1219. <laughs> I'm probably gonna read until for at least a half hour, I would say, and then I'll go to bed. I think I'm going to end the vlog off here. This was day five. You're watching this on the 10th if you watch it the day that it uploads. I still have so much Christmas shopping to do. However, I did get an idea for my mom, which is nice. Brendan said he's going to give me a few more ideas. I did order something for him the other day, and then I need to get my secret Santa something because Brendan's siblings, because there's like seven of us with like he has four siblings and then like three of them have significant others. 
So we do, it's, oh my gosh, wait, what this website is so helpful for Secret Santa sort of things like that. I highly recommend if you have lots of siblings doing that and just, we have a $50 limit and everyone just has to buy one gift. It's called drawnames.com and we've used it the last two years and oh my God, it's incredible, honestly. Ooh, should I get a veggie chopper? Yeah, I think I'm gonna add this to my wish list. It's one of those, I've been trying to think of things to put on my wish list for the person that has me. And this could be really convenient, especially for making my dips in the summer. I'm gonna add it to my wish list. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna read a little bit more of my book. Oh, I need to sign into my bingo game for the day. And I will be back with another vlog in just two days. I hope you're having a great December so far and I will see you soon. Bye friends.